Hey kids! In today's video, we will be learning about wasps. Are you ready? Let's begin! Wasps belong to the order Hymenoptera, which also includes bees and ants. Unlike bees, which are typically hairy and specialized for collecting pollen, wasps are usually smooth-bodied and many species are carnivorous or parasitic. Let's go over the key characteristics of the wasp. Body Structure Wasps generally have a slender, smooth body with a narrow waist, called a petiole. This connects to the thorax and abdomen. This feature distinguishes them from bees, which are usually hairier. Smooth, shiny bodies. In contrast to the hairy bodies of bees, wasps have smooth skeletons. Wings. Most wasps have two pairs of wings that help them fly quickly and efficiently. Antenna Their long segmented antenna helps them sense the environment. This includes locating food or host for parasitic species. Diet Adult wasps often hunt caterpillars, flies, spiders, and other small insects. They also feed on nectar and fruits. Stingers Wasps have a stinger that they use for defense and in some species to paralyze prey. Unlike bees, most wasps can sting multiple times. This is because their stinger lacks barbs, meaning it doesn't get stuck in the victim's skin. Let's go over the types of wasps. There are two main categories of wasps. Social wasp and solitary wasp. Social wasp. These wasps live in colonies that can range from a few individuals to thousands. Common examples include paper wasps, yellow jackets, and hornets. In a colony, there is typically one queen who lays eggs. The rest of the colony consists of female workers who care for the queen's offspring, build a nest, and gather food. Social wasps often build nests out of paper-like material, which they create by chewing wood fibers and mixing them with their saliva. Their nests are usually found in trees, underground, or in man-made structures like attics. Solitary wasps these wasps do not live in colonies. Each female works alone to lay eggs and care for her offspring. Many solitary wasps are parasitic. They lay their eggs in or on other insects like caterpillars or spiders. The wasp larvae then feed on the host. Some famous examples include the tarantula hawk and cicada killer wasp. Let's go over the life cycle of wasp. Egg The queen or female wasp lays eggs, usually in a prepared nest or in a host organism. Larva The eggs hatch into larvae, which are often fed by the workers or provided with paralyzed prey, in the case of solitary wasps. Pupa after feeding and growing, the larvae enters a pupal stage, during which they undergo metamorphosis. Adult The adult wasp emerges from the pupal case and begins its role, 
either as a worker, drone, or as a new queen. Now here are fun facts about wasps. Fruit wasp The fig wasp is the sole pollinator for many fig trees. The relationship between fig wasp and fig trees is an example of co-evolution, where the survival of one species depends on the other. Painful stings Some wasps, like the tarantula hawk, are famous for their extremely painful stings. The bullet ant, though not a wasp, also has a sting that ranks high on the Schmid Sting Pain Index, a scale that measures the pain caused by insect stings. And that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about wasp today. Take care now, bye bye. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button. Also, give us a like, that will help us. We thank you so much, and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon!